Welcome to our presentation on leveraging TikTok to create sustainable music careers, a case study on Pink Panthers. Pink Panthers is a 21-year-old UK singer-songwriter, and looking at the timeline of her career thus far, Pink Panthers posted her first TikTok December of 2020. In the month of March 2021, she released the song Break It Off on SoundCloud, which subsequently went viral on TikTok. April is the speculated month of her signing to Polyphone Records. In June, she released the songs Pain and Just For Me on DSPs, and in July, Just For Me went viral. In the month of October, she released her mixtape to Hell With It, and she ended up the year being named a TikTok emerging artist. To kick off this year, she was named BBC Sound of 2022 and announced the headlining tour in the USA. And most recently, she has collaborated with Miramasa, with Uzi Vert, and Shy Girl on the song Baby Cakes. All of this began from one single TikTok post. And considering the short lifespan of songs which trend on TikTok, it brings us to question, how can artists leverage TikTok to build a sustainable music career? Um, we followed a mixed methodology. We derived observations from various data sources and used APIs, especially from chart metric and audience, following, uh, uh, focusing on platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Spotify, YouTube. We also did a content analysis on tweets. Thereafter, we derived our results by analyzing and visualizing our data. Yeah, so when we analyze the performance, we use the Tableau visualization and we want to share a little bit our findings with you. So first of all, we wanted to segment by location. And we saw that despite her being from the UK, her largest audience is in the US. And we can see that mo it's almost 60% of Instagram and TikTok following comes from the United States. Also by age group, we can see that most of her age group is in from 18 to 24, both in male and female. And that's really important information because she has a more greedy sound. She has a very, uh, an edge. And that means that it's very important uh, to leverage this demographic specifically because that's the prime user base for this type of music on TikTok. Here we can see some uh, TikTok metrics also uh, from the three main songs that we analyzed. So for example, we can see how the comments and likes track each other in a way that you can see the audience is really engaging with her, not only watching the videos and keeping scrolling, but actually interacting, commenting, liking, and sharing those videos. We also found some play interesting playlist insights, especially with these two songs, Just For Me and Break It Off. For Just For Me, we can see a lower number of playlists, but a higher number of reach. This probably means that there are more lean back streams uh, because probably a more editorial playlist with higher amounts of followers, but Break It Off has more lean forward streams probably because they have a higher number of playlists and a lower number of reach, but it's important because when an audience playlists you in their own third-party playlist, it means that they're really engaged. Finally, we, well, not finally, but we analyzed some of the charts and we can see that Pink Panther S is really active in the daily and weekly viral charts. We can see how much activity she has there. And that's just a testament to how her music performs virally constantly. You can see it's not only one song, but a many of her songs that are becoming viral and that creates a sustainable growth you know when it's not only one song but a catalog that creates sustainable growth and now finally we wanted to do a bit of a competitive analysis with another tiktok hit uh, from masked wolf which is astronaut in the ocean basically his popularity index peaked around may of 2021 but started to descend while pink panther as his popularity started going up very constantly and then the fan conversion rate for um, Masked Wolf was constantly low, meaning that they only listened to the song because of TikTok. But for uh, Pink Panther S, we can see a very high interest rate in their in her fan conversion rate, which is very important. We understand that this was an isolated study on a single artist, and researchers would uh, you know want to apply it on varied artists and varied demographics. So we went the extra mile and we created a product that lets you do exactly that. You can search for an artist that you want. You'll get most of the data that Camilo just showed you. And all of this raw data is right here. It's getting, it's coming real time from Chartmetrics API. You can see the country stats, you can see the gender rate distribution, you can see the notable followers, and you can also select your source from uh, where you want the data from. It could be TikTok, it could be Instagram, it could be YouTube. And they, you can also compare these against another artist like he did for uh, Master Wolf. 
and this is something that is an end product that can be leveraged right now right here for any artist that you want and i let uh, esther complete the um, esther you may go ahead yep um i know that the time is up but if you can allow me about 20 seconds to just uh finish up so again um bringing to the slide the key to sustainability right it still begs the question yet again um, so how can Pink Panthers continue to use TikTok to build a sustainable music career? Because platformization here is key, it is recommended that Pink Panthers and Parlophone continue to utilize new platforms. Her virtual performance on Roblox at the Brits showed great success and we can see how easy it is for her to test new waters and develop the market. We know that market reaction is unpredictable. So continuously developing the market through consistent engagement while sustaining her brand is key, even if it means more trial and error. Finally, it's turning singles into catalogs and yeah, turning her fans into, uh, turning her users into fans is a timeless strategy because TikTok, it's, it has amazing network effects and uh, Pink Panthers knows how to use, utilize it well. So thank you, that's all from us. Thank you so much. Um, so I'll invite the judges. Alex. Thank you. Great job, guys. And so you talked a little bit about TikTok. You also mentioned Roblox as being kind of a future platform to aid sustainability. Are there any other key platforms that you think I should focus on um, which have a sustainable thread through them? Yeah, for sure. Um, we were talking, We, as you can see, we're a very diverse group. And we were talking with our uh, Indian uh, members how they don't have TikTok in India. Uh, but they use Reels. So Instagram is also going to be key. Um, other gaming platforms like Fortnite or maybe even some Web3 uh, metaverses, maybe Decentraland, some, some things like that. Just being on top of the technology is very important. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos? Yeah, um, before we, we saw Discord and now we see Roblox, we see other things. Are you getting this from data or just empirically? In my um, so experience, can, okay, go for it, go, go for ahead. it. Oh, go for okay, it. Uh, so on the qualitative side that some of our members have done our research on, uh, we just analyzed some of the articles that we received and unfortunately we weren't able to put up a reference, but on Roblox, this was what she used with her record label to perform at the Brits. Um, but aside from just Roblox, um, she's doing a lot with the, with the record label to kind of go from TikTok, but not just TikTok, all the way to now Twitch, but also on like other platforms and really utilizing new platforms, not just like uh, mm. YouTube and not just traditional platforms that are now not looked upon anymore. Um, so I guess, not just guessing, but from our research, we understand that um, she's really looking for new platforms to utilize and but still yeah. maintaining that persona of hers as a bedroom pop artist from TikTok because that's how she uh, exposed her persona from SoundCloud and then to TikTok and then to Spotify. So here we recognize the network effects of the platforms. Yeah, I guess something to put into, into that little product for sure. Recommendation based on data. Great, thank you. Any other questions, judges? No, I think, oh, sorry, there is one, Alexandra. <laughs> uh, just a quick question. The, uh, the tool you showed at the end, uh, Streamlate, uh, it's to automatize uh, what? I'm sorry, could I ask that again? Yeah, you, you said you, you show uh, us yeah. uh, a, a quick tool. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you plan to automatize? What's this tool is about? So basically, it lets you search for any artist that you want, and I could pull up any, your favorite artist right now. And this will give so basically all of the insights that we collected over a period of two days that can be, you know, gotten for any end user in a matter of minutes now using that tool. So you won't have to go through all of these manual process that we did. You could just bring up the tool, pull up your favorite artist, and you'll get everything, all of the insights right there. Thank you. 